All right, let's talk about how to um, explicitly find the, um, the explicit form of an inverse here. So let's take, for instance, we have the graph of um, we have a function of f of x equal to 2x plus 3. And you want to find the inverse of the, you know, you want to find the explicit form of the inverse of this. Well, we know we, we this we can rewrite this as y is equal to 2x plus 3. And what we want to do now, we want to interchange the x and the y. So now to find the inverse of this, what we're looking at is interchanging the x and the y. So where x is now is y. So I'm going to change these for you. So that's x. And this is still 2. And this is going to be y. And this is plus 3. What we're looking for now, we're looking for the inverse here. All right, so as we look for the inverse here now, what we're going to do, we're actually going to solve for y, just like your regular algebra would be. I mean, you regular would do um, in algebra. So here, um, I think some of you just probably like to see it a little better like this. So we just write this as 2y plus 3 is equal to x. And now let's do some algebra here. So um, subtract negative 3 minus 3. That leaves me 2y equal to x minus 3. Now I want, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry for y. So then a, I divide this by 2. Divide this whole side by 2. So now I'm left with y is equal to uh, 1 half x minus 3. Right? So now we have the implicit form inverse of this. So the inverse of that is this. All right. Hope that makes sense. Questions or concerns? Give me a call. Thanks. All right. Let's go ahead and do one more. I think you might need one more example. So let's do this one. So here, this is um find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. Okay. Very similar. So the same thing we have the function of f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, all that over x minus 1, where x is not equal to 1, because then we wouldn't be undefined here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going um, to replace the f of x with y and then interchange the variables x and y. So if f of x now, we're going to replace it with y, which is 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now we're going to exchange the x's and the y's. So I'm going to change that to red for you so you can see that x. That's going to be 2y plus 1 over y minus 1. And now I want to solve for, um, solve for y. So I'm going to solve for y. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to... Uh, multiply this booger. I'm going to multiply uh, by y, y, y one on both sides. So let me change color so you can see that. So x, well, I want to know. Let me write it up. Let me write it up here. Well, no, I think I got, I think I got enough room. So um, x equal to 2 y plus 1 over y minus 1. I want to multiply this by y1. Okay, y one. Okay, I'm not writing here. Uh, and then this is going to be by y1. Alright, so we do that. Now we end up with a we end up with x y1 equal to y plus 1. All right, these cancel here. Yes, and so now we're left with this. Now we're just doing some um, algebra here. So we end up with here and here, right? So you got to distribute that. So that gives us a x, y minus a x. Yes, and equal to 2y plus 1. 
So now we're gonna apply the. Um, so now we want to subtract two y from both sides, and um, and add an x to both sides. So when we do that, we want to take two y from both sides. All right. So we want to take. Uh, subtract two y from both sides. Minus a two y from both sides. And that's gonna give me uh, x y minus x plus two y. Oh, and I want to add an x to both sides. So get rid of that too. So. Excuse me if I'm getting a little messy here. I'll change the color again for you. So now that should leave me a x y minus two y equal to x plus one. All right. Now we have some things in common here, so we can do some factoring. We're going to be able to factor out a, uh, we can factor out a y, right? So um, when we factor out the y, we're left with x minus 2y equal to x plus 1. And now we can divide this by what? x divided by 2 on both sides. So now we have y is equal to x plus 1 divided by x minus 2. Alright. So now we have the inverse. So the inverse, um, so now this is actually replaced. We replace this. And now we can actually write this as just the f of negative 1 of x. So remember, now we have the what the inverse of the x. All right. And, um, and then we can almost go back and check that. Um, and you can do that on your own.